welcome back everyone it's Irvin here uh Tim with Irvin uh, today we're gonna be analyzing the full week of April 27 to May 1st 2020 so make sure you hit that bell notification below so you're gonna be updated with all the videos and content that we pull here in our YouTube channel so just wanted to make sure you hit that bell notification and then we're gonna move on to our next uh, slide all right so let me give you first our forex disclaimer everyone need to know this i'm not your financial advisor i'm just another fellow trader looking to squeeze hundreds and hundreds of pips out of the market all right so another great app you need to download it i don't care what else you're gonna be doing is please download my fx book it's your that's what you're gonna be re reading your economic calendar for the entire week that is coming on april 27 to may 1st all right so make sure you hit that bell as well and let me also give you a a, a refresher i do the one-on-one session if you guys want me to do the one-on-one please hit me uh the uh, uh the description of my telegram my private telegram is in uh on the description of this video so i can teach you if you want to learn more from me directly if not it's fine but here is some of the uh some of the guys that already did the one-on-one were extremely happy and so on so you want to make money it's up to you all right so let's go ahead and start like i say you know today is uh we're gonna be analyzing the week of march 27 um, april 27 my bad april 27 to may 1st 2020 all right so make sure that you subscribe as well all right, let's, let's go ahead and start working because I guess you guys need to know. So uh, if you have not watched our yesterday video, the pre-week analysis, please do so. I've dropped in there Euro USD, USD CHF, Euro NCD, and Gold. So if you are a Gold uh, pair that you like, then go back to that video and check it out. But today we're going to go ahead and start with our... We are gbp usd pay attention what the time frame that i'm using here i'm clearly using a four hours time frame now that is the first thing pay attention what the triple arrow is doing triple arrow is giving us a triple arrow what what do you think is that let me write it down here so you can learn sometimes that is the only way you're gonna look this is a we're gonna do ta ta equal pull back position that's what the market is doing in here but it's not it's not ready yet so now what i'm seeing here the market is is what it's gonna do next for this coming week for april 27 to may 1st we're looking now to see a market to go up and uh retest let me take this off it's way too big so if i do it that big it's gonna take the entire uh the entire chart of pain look at here it's gonna come back and retest r23 to r0 fibonacci line retesting our mid aa line from there the market is gonna do a small pullback retesting r23 again and then the market will continue up because the uh here we are in a bullish market all right so if you feel confused please let me know okay but this is straightforward guys straightforward all right, so let's go ahead and analyze the, ne the next pair. We're going to go to AUD, USD. Pay attention to what I'm doing in here. Again, it's four hours. I also have here highlighted a triple arrow giving us what? Giving us a bearish market. So what I'm seeing here for this week is the market is going to do a continuation of the pullback remember it's a pullback it's gonna come back and retest r23 fibonacci line from there the market will continue as bullish because the, in my opinion the market is bullish here do you have any other opinion if so this is what i need to this is what i need from you guys if you think what i'm saying is way different than what you have make sure you comment below that is the only way that we're all gonna be working together all right so hopefully this makes sense let's go ahead and analyze gbp and cd i'm trying to keep this video guys under 30 minutes if it's possible 
So you can go back to your uh, triple arrow system, review it. And if you are watching us for the first time and want to grab our triple arrow system, the description is below where we are going to be giving you some $20 cash back. Anyway, the system doesn't cost that much, but $20 is $20, right? So, so what I'm expecting to see on GBP and CD, I'm using here four hours. I'm looking for a continuation of that small pullback, maybe retesting, giving us one or two more candle before or three before the market does a continuation of the trend going as bullish mark. That is what I'm thinking on this particular, but overall here, I'm seeing a bullish market. That's what it is. Look at what the triple arrow is giving us here. Triple arrow is clearness telling us the market is going bullish and bullish and bullish and bullish and bullish. All right. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you have any other opinion. If so, please let me know or let everybody know by comment below. Okay. Because we are here live trying to help you out. And also, guys, give us a help us with the channel give us a thumbs up if you feel uh you found value on our video if you think we need to improve well give us a thumbs down either way is fine we just here bringing you some real content all right and as you see i don't sugarcoat my videos if i make a mistake i is gonna be there so i just want to be organic honest and continue my path all right so let's move on to our next one we're gonna go ahead and analyze USD Canadian dollars. Ooh, this is great. Ooh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at this. Triple arrows giving us a uh, pullback bullish market. So what I'm expecting to see on this particular trade here, market, uh, we know market is bearish, to be honest. That's what we know. So market here is giving us uh, uh, a, uh, it's gonna continue down, I expect it. And then, you know what, guys, let me re uh, redo this one. Because in my opinion, market is going to drop more. And the bullish is not going to go that way. It's going to go and retest our 50. From our 50 Fibonacci line, the market will go down. What do you think? I just did it in front of you. That's what my opinion is. Uh, remember, pool is going to... Go ahead and retest our 50 Fibonacci line, then the market is going to continue down. You are going to come back on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time where we're going to go over these pairs and, and you can get, and you going to go ahead and ask questions. All right. But I'm here live, guys. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Drop, uh, you know, drop the comment below. Uh, even if it's offline, I also will answer your question. Pay attention what I got here. This is another great one. This is on GBP. JPY. What I'm seeing here is a triple arrow pullback. I don't know if you love to trade pullback, but there's I seen a gorgeous pullback to be honest. But I don't know if you try if you know how to do pullback. But what I'm seeing here, guys, are pullbacks. All right. So it seems now that this pullback here is game over. It's done. Finito. So it's over. Now the market, what it's gonna do for April 27 to May 1st, market will continue bullish. That's what I'm thinking on this particular pair. So I'm seeing a bullish market from where? What area do you see? I'm seeing here because the TA, the TA equal a bullish market. I don't know if you've seen that. If you want me to teach you how I trade, how I analyze, and how I trade in real time, my description or my private link is below or my Telegram. Send me a message. We can do the one on one if you want to learn more. If not, it's fine. Just do what you do best. If you find in success, however you find the success, I'm fine with that too. Remember, the market is so huge, and I'm just another trader, right? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next pair. Pay attention. Oh, guys, by the way, uh, on the last six weeks, we lost only two trades. So we're going to go ahead and track this all the coming week, and hopefully we'll lose one. My goal is to lose four four trades out of 14, 
we're still pretty good winning ratio but you are gonna be the judge i don't want to be the judge i just do the analysis and you judge me that's what i want all right so pay attention what i have here another gorgeous pullback guys look at this boom 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 so now what i'm expecting to see i'm expecting to see a continuation of the bullish market retesting r61 to r78 fibonacci line from there it's gonna do a small pullback retesting r61 fib and then the market will continue bullish remember triple arrows giving us a sure uh pullback triple arrow it's a sell pullback now what is you think what do you think what do you think all right i don't know what you think but baby you want to know more hire me as your coach you don't want to know more you want to keep learning your hard way fine too either way is fine let's go to chs jpy look at this another gray one what are we expecting to see here we are expecting to see a triple arrow formation in this particular area. We're going to come back on Wednesday where we're going to analyze this all over again. I'm expecting to see a triple arrow formation in this particular area here. If this one goes against us, it's fine too. It's fine. But our goal is, is to have at least 80-70% winning ratio, more winning than losses. Look at here. I'm expecting to see a 23 to R38 Fibonacci line retesting our mid AA line. From there, the market is going to do a small pullback retesting our mid 23 line to our zero. Then from there, the market will be bullish. But remember, this is going to be a bullish pullback. I always say this. Some of you guys are sending me a message, Irving. I'm so confused. What do you mean? Triple arrow pullback well the rules are the rules guys the rules that are three uh, that are traced are very very strict to uh when i see a triple arrow pullback triple arrow can blow your account guys there was another scenario where i was teaching this guy uh and he was like Irvin, but i see triple arrow there and i took trade on friday and now and and all suddenly uh the market went against me of course if you don't know what you're doing and you think just because the triple arrow appears you're gonna start winning that's not how it is you need to have your a8 game if you don't know how to trade pullback stay away stay away i will teach you all that stuff behind scenes but it's a lot to go over but you make the decision all right let's move on let's move on we here very short period of time anyway all right we go ahead and analyze uh gbp and cd gorgeous gorgeous another great beast here what i'm expecting to see here is what i'm expecting to see let me let me make this smaller all right let me make this smaller we're gonna grab our two here i'm expecting to see one or two more candle here and then market is gonna do what what do you think it will do from here it will do a buy position remember guys these are not signals these are not signal if you want to be on our signal program we had a program inside of our our our, um, our system if you are watching us for the first time and want to grab the triple arrow system the link is in the description of this video as well where we're gonna be giving you 20 dollars cash back all right let me know if you have any questions but the link is there super easy to use click on it take a look at it you don't like it and remember that our back off is still working uh be on our new uh triple arrow that is coming you guys gonna love that stuff so the only way you're gonna grab that is only if you uh subscribe to our, our youtube channel one two is if you uh wh whoever's on there are on our program already is so my grandfather to that uh triple arrow as well it's not gonna cost you anything for the first two licenses if you want to grab more it's gonna cost you uh, you know a few dollars more but it's not it's not that much but if you want to sign up and grab that we are gonna give it to you for free as well but the link is below of our triple R. all right let's move forward 
because it's a lot of great info guys so we're still working behind scene all right let's go to AUD Canadian dollar look at here the time frame I use what I'm expecting to see here guys I'm expecting to see a triple arrow formation right on this particular area here now pay attention what I'm drawing here for the week of April 27 to May 1st all right, so I'm expecting to see a market. Oh, grab that one too. I'm expecting the market to uh, do a continuation down, meet meeting our mid zero to our twenty three Fibonacci. From there, it's gonna do a small pullback, and then the market will continue down. Remember, this is gonna be a triple arrow. What? What do you think it's gonna be? Let me write it down let me put it back because it sounds like you guys always forget this is gonna be a triple arrow pull back that's what it's gonna be do you have any other opinion you want me to train you well my description on my private telegram is below send me a message we're gonna sit down and I will make you a pro because we're here to squeeze hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and what and hundreds of pips that's what we're here for all right you're not gonna find success by sitting on your on your couch watching tv trust me you gotta work all right you gotta work all right so let's go to gbp canadian pay attention what i have here here i'm analyzing four hours again this week i'm going straight up all four hours so remember we are coming on uh wednesday at 6 p.m easter time where we're gonna analyze all over all over this from scratch where you gonna judge me and say so Irvin, we are doing great we need to do this blah, blah blah whatever you think we're gonna do but anyway it is what it is now this is the this is a great one what I'm expecting to see, guys, in this particular area here, to be honest, I'm expecting, let me write it down once again, I'm expecting to see a continuation of the trend. That's what I'm expecting to see here. Now, look at here. What I'm drawing here is what it is. Market is going to continue down. I'm expecting to see a, a, a retest at 20, 38 mid 50 Fibonacci line. From there, it's gonna do a smooth, tiny pullback, retesting our 38.25. And then, market will continue down. That is what I have in base on my analysis for April 27 to May 1st. What do you have on your end? I don't know, but all I always suggest you guys, if you're gonna, you know, uh, do your analysis try to do your analysis over the weekend when the market is closed there's no feeling you, you just do what you have to do best but that is what it is make sure you guys watched uh yesterday video the pre-week analysis that i did for uh for uh, uh april 25th 20, 2020 where i throw um you know uh the other pairs i think i analyzed four pairs I already analyzed AUD USD gold. I gave you the setup in here. I also gave you the setup of Euro NCD. I also look at this. It's there, guys. I'm not gonna change it. We're gonna come back on Wednesday. We're gonna do this all over again. But this is a pullback here. Also, I gave you USD CHF. This here still in a downtrend. Yeah, so we're looking for a few more pips. And this, I did it on one hour. I was supposed to do it on four hours, but, I, you know, and then I felt lazy. I was like, nah, I'm just, I'm just going to give you what I have. So it is what it is. Like I say, you know, early. If I do make a mistake, I want to keep it organic. You will see my mistake. I'm not trying to sugarcoat these videos and not like that. No. That's why, that's why we're real here in the Triple Arrow family. We are real. Super easy forex, triple arrow system. All right. So, and the other pair that I gave you here was on Euro USD, but this one I gave you on four hours. This one was great. So this one, what I'm, what I told you here is the market is gonna go all the way 
retest our 50 Fibonacci line, come back, do a small pullback, and then continue up. Market here is bullish. That's what it, that's what it's doing. All right. So I don't know I don't know what you guys doing on your on your chart, but that's what it's that's what it's doing. Do you guys have any question, guys? Make sure, guys, give us a what? Give us a thumbs up if you found value of this video, or if you're not finding value, you want me to create more video. Let us know. Let us know. I, I mean, I will be more than happy to help you out in any way you you need help. But if you don't have any question, guess what I'm gonna do next? Try to guess what I'm gonna do next. Well, I'm gonna go home. Boom. <laughs>